everyone I'm coming on um, today I just wanted to do a little video to try something hopefully <coughs> um, it will turn out okay but um, I have this page on Facebook and they always show uh, little craft projects uh, like arty kind of projects and uh, I seen one the other day and I've been meaning to come on and do a video because I wanted to try it so you can see it while I'm uh, trying for my first time if it goes all wrong then it's wrong it doesn't matter it's just having a play but what it is is um, you get some paint and pull in a tub and you mix it with water and your normal washing up liquid and um, so I've done that I've got a purple one a blue and a yellow but it looks a bit green um, yeah so what you're meant to do once you have all that mixed in and I've got them ready I'll put the link of the video where I've seen it so you can like check that link out and that so you need to have a straw and I think if you struggle with breathing and that I think and then this might give you headaches as well because what you're going to do is get the straw and like blowing it till all the bubbles come up the top of that so it might give you a bit um like the headache you know when all like the blood rushes to your head um, but just take, just do it slowly. So then it said, once that's gone up, like that, loads. Before it goes down, you meant to get your paper and rub it on, and you meant to get your effect that one's not working that one maybe I think I need to put a bit more paint in that one let's try the blue one I'm going to see if it's going to work now. So I put the paint in first, and then it says put the water in, and then you put the washing up liquid. But now that I've put the paint in after, it looks like a lot more better. So now let's have a try. Oh, well, there you are. Can you see? It's come up, so it gives all that bubble effect, like a bubble marble effect. So I guess it's best to put the paint in after because I've put it in or even maybe I didn't put much paint in, I don't know. But as you see in this one didn't do it, but I might go back and put more paint in that one. Wow, that looks cool, look at that. And I suppose it's different really, it's different from how the marble effect what I was doing on the paper before this gives it the bubble effect oh I think I'll be having a lot of fun with this I understand after a while uh, how people say how like how it gets to your head a bit when you're blowing into the straw for too long and it's very messy, <laughs> but that's just all part of the fun. There you are. I 
I see on the video that they put theirs in a bowl and what I've just done there actually what you need to be careful with that when I was blowing it it just popped like it when I was blowing it, it popped up a bit too much and went towards my eye so you've got to be careful I think if it's young ones you'll have to sit and do it with them um, so yeah so one moment right let's do a bit more on this blue one then This is a fun thing for kids to do, even adults, like if you're doing all your mixed media and you want your nice papers, like that. So I'm going to leave that to dry and come back on and show you how it looks. Um, try and pop some of this bit down a bit. one it is coming out a bit but I just don't think it's gonna it's not standing out just how the blue one did so I'm just gonna carry on having a play kind of just went into it really <laughs> mm. yeah the yellow's not really showing up as well um, what I have noticed though you do put quite a bit of your um water and you have to put quite a lot of the washing up liquid to make it really bubbly made me a bit light headed Yeah, the yellow's not working as good. Um, to put that one away, out, out the way. And then I want to bring over the purple and have a try. See the purple? And the yellow, uh, purple and blue, are the ones what are working fine. But for some reason the yellow one wasn't bubbling up the same. I 
I don't know why. Um, my purple is coming out, but it's very light. I'm just popping all the bubbles. That's how the purple's coming out. Just give that one more go. I thought I'd come back on and show you some of the papers once they've dried. Um, they're a little tiny little bit wet on this one. But as you can see all the bubble effect. And on this one I mixed it. I did the blue, the purple and the yellow together. So I think I'm going to try with other colours. I'm just really cold because I'm near the window. <laughs> My craft desk is near the window. Um, but I just love how all the bubbles have came out of it and I think this bubble effect like this would be good once I draw over it with all my markers and stuff and I think that will look good and then that's the blue one the blue ones come out like sanded out loads the yellow one I went over the yellow one and tried again but I don't really like how the yellow one was working. And then that's the purple with all the bubble effects. But yeah, that's just my papers. Um, hope you like this video. And uh, if you give it a try, let me know. I'd love to see what other people, how they um, think about them and everything like I said it was my first time and it was a bit of fun and there's different like texture to do on paper and that so I'm just loving of all the different um, techniques that I can learn and um, yeah that's it thanks for watching this video Thank you. Bye.